Hey guys, it's Brian from 2Fab here. Tonight we are with the guys from Kane Holler. Uh, how did you come together and how has this journey been so far for you two? We came together in 2011. Our really old friend Zoe Kravitz um, introduced us and um, we pretty much immediately started making music. I heard her saying she heard some of my instrumentals and it was right from there we just kept going. And it's been an incredible experience. We're really happy to be at South By because it's our first time here and we've always wanted to come and play here so it's really cool. Now how did you link up with Nylon for this party? I've known Nylon for a long time. I was modeling before we were doing this music thing and um, I've always been a fan of the magazine and just the whole thing and, and did a couple things for them and then when we started the band it kind of just all was very natural and you know the vibes collected and collided and this is great. We get to DJ tonight, which we don't get to do very often, and we want to do more of, so that was nice. Now I know you guys start going on the road with the Ting Tings. I feel like next week? Yeah. Are you? Monday. How excited are you for that, and where, where are you looking forward to going while you're on the road with them? I know we're super excited about that. We, we did a week with them a couple uh, weeks ago, and that was a great experience. It was a nice appetizer for what's about to come. Got about five weeks on the road with them. It covers most of the U.S., a lot of the U.S., and a little bit of Canada. And pretty much the entire U.S. Yeah, pretty much the entire U.S. But they're they're amazing, and they're so incredible live. The first yeah. time we saw them, our mouths were just like on the floor, being like, "Wow!" So to play with them is a really great experience, and we're honored to be able to do it. Now, before you two linked up with each other, what were you doing before you, you know, got together? I was, I like I said, I was doing a little modeling, yeah. but that was very short-lived before the music started. I was like in art school, living in Boston. She was welding. Low key. <laughs> learning how to weld. Where, where in Boston? Where I went to Mass Art. Okay. So. Emerson, so oh, I was cool. Nice. In Massachusetts. Nice. Right next nice. door. Nice. Yep. <laughs> and I'm from Boston, so it was nice. We started the music and moved away and got taken off from there. Yeah. But. And um, I was uh, acting for pretty much my entire life, and then. Um, there's a lot of downtime in acting, so I was yeah. making a lot of music on my own, by myself, just on my computer, and I had a big bank of ele uh, electronic beats and stuff like that, instrumentals, and I never knew what to do with them, and I uh, one day decided to pick up and move to New York to try and pursue that career, because I, I liked how much creative control you could have, and I met her pretty much the second day I moved to New York, so it was immediate. It's very serendipitous. Yeah, very, very. It was like the first weekend he lived there, yeah. And I was there for one weekend, and, and it just happened. happened. And, and yeah. we just dedicated all our time to it since then. Do you get any advice from your dad, or you just you know what you're doing? You're on that road yourself, and you're just good to go. Oh, I get some advice. I definitely get some advice. To be honest, there's such different styles of music, yeah. and it's such different like times, and you know, oh, yeah. the totally different world. Yeah, different era. So that's that's you know puts a big divide between like the advice that we can give, but in terms of like you know just the way the music industry works, you have this team of like a manager, and there's definitely moments where you're like, what is going on? What? How do I do this? So I can always call him and ask. It doesn't always line up with what's actually happening right now, but even having the support, you know, is a big deal. He's incredibly supportive. Very supportive. He's always like, whenever he can come to a show, he's in the middle of like front and center, big Dancing smile on his face. Than anybody, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. It yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> And now where can people see you next? I know you're going on tour. Where can we find out what's well, going on with you guys? Well, we, we start uh, the U.S. tour, what, on the 23rd? Yeah, the in, March 23rd, Monday. In San Diego. Right around the corner. And then we go up all the way up the coast and across the top and down the east coast and across the bottom. But all of our uh, show dates, because there's like 30 of them, it would take a while to list up. But you can go on our, our website at canehuller.com and you can see it all. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank Good you. luck on the tour. Thank I, you. I'm very excited for you. Awesome. Thank you <laughs> awesome. so much. Thank you. Yeah.